Hey everyone, on the next couple videos, Nick and I are gonna be hunting in Minnesota again, but before we get started, we're having our holiday sale right now, so everything is marked down. But once items are out of stock, we're not putting them back on the website. So once they're gone, they're gone. If there's anything you like there, make sure you pick it up quick because it may not last for forever. If you wanna save an additional 10% on all your orders, you can use the code Zach, spelled Z-A-C-H, or you can use any of the other guys' names to save 10% as well. So as many of you guys know, I now live in Colorado, and after that first trip to Minnesota, I figured that there's probably a good chance that I was gonna come back, so to save time and money, I just decided to fly from Minnesota back to Colorado. I hadn't been home since October 11th, so I was excited to spend time with my girlfriend, and I was able to get those first couple videos done, and then as a group, we decided that it probably made the most sense for Nick to meet me in Minnesota. He had just filmed Ted Fill That Kansas Tag, so Ted dropped him off in Kansas City, and I flew from Colorado, and we both landed late on the night of the 15th. But before we get to that action, we're gonna start the video with an update about that buck that I hit back on October 25th when I was hunting with Keith. Then after that, we'll jump straight to the action from our second trip to Minnesota. So a couple days ago, I was about to head back to Minnesota and just happened to get a message from a guy named Dusty and said that his buddy shot a buck on the same piece of public land that I had shot that buck on back on October 25th. And he said at first, they thought the buck just had a gore hole in him, but once they started reviewing it a little bit more, they realized that it was probably an arrow. I would say at this point, I'm about 98% sure that that's the same buck. I'm gonna call him right now and just see uh, his side of the story and just get a little bit more info from him. So I think that it'll be pretty cool to hear what he's got to say and what we can learn from that in general. So here we go. Hey. Hey Dusty, how's it going, man? Good, good, yourself? All doing pretty well. Uh, what state are you in today? I'm, I'm back up here in Minnesota, so. Huh? Yeah, brutal, man. It's definitely winter. Oh yeah. This uh, mythical deer from Yeah. Um, it's kind of kind of funny. So we've been hunting that for many years now. I chased it up. It was running in the cattails in front of me and kind of signaled to the guy that was to my left, and he's the one that ended up shooting it. You know, when we got up to it, you know, it had what I thought was like a gore wound. Didn't really give it any more thought. When my buddy took the hide off, he's like, well, that, that hole went through and through, and I, I still didn't really give it any thought. Well, then this past Monday, uh, I got your guys' video from um, a friend of mine and it was his co-workers that you guys ran into while you were um, out looking for the buck. They were the ones that were out there pulling stands. Yeah. Well, then I started thinking, I'm like, we just shot this buck out there with holes through it and it's basically, you know, the same exact trajectory of, of this deer that you would have shot. And I'm like, what are the odds that it's maybe the same one? You know, when he sent me the picture of that scapula you know that's got a hole in it it's almost got to be the same one you know the the holes that are in this deer are at the exact same angle you shot like i took a screenshot like right as you're shooting the deer you know to like look at the frame compared to the frame that my buddy's holding and everything is telling me that it's the same deer there isn't that many deer running around with two holes poked through them either at right. the exact same angle you know there i mean there's probably broadheads and arrows stuck in deer all over but at the, like right at the exact same angle on, on the same same piece of public land i mean that's that's just too much coincidence where you said you guys jumped it up is actually where he ran to so i'm assuming he okay. consistently bedded there if we went back in there the next day with the dog and the and the dog took took him straight down to where you're explaining he probably just went circled right back down to where he felt comfortable and probably where he was ultimately heading that day that i shot him but in, you know in the grand scheme of it it's not that far it's you know what three quarters of a mile or a mile or whatever it is back down in there but when you sent me that picture of the scapula if you would have asked me you know where i hit the buck like where i truly believed it was it'd be exactly where that entry hole was so when he was shot you said it was 11 8 which would have been 14 days later exactly two weeks was he getting around fine i'm assuming he was just well, running or pretty well or what i saw him i mean he was just kind of sneaking through the cattails i, I mean I think he just made the mistake of he got out into the open enough where my buddy saw him. If he would have stayed in the cattails, it would have been a cat and mouse game, and they usually win that game. Yeah, like I said, I really can't thank you enough for telling me because it definitely made me feel relief, you know? Well, and I've, I've been there, done that. I've lost two with archery equipment over the years. So I can relate to uh, the unknown always haunting you a little. 
Yeah, not just a little, like a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. It, it sucks. You put all the work in, and and for something like that to happen, it's just like, ugh. Yeah. Dude, you made my day. I just am so happy that you reached out. And it may seem insignificant to some, but I, it does mean a lot, and I really appreciate it. It's pretty awesome. No problem, man. No problem. Have a great weekend. Yeah, you too, dude. See ya. All right, later. Bye. hunting hat the hunting hat we're hunting now so we're back in Minnesota we got Nick with me this time so it's gonna be way better than having Keith with me <laughs> trying for redemption up here we got snow it's gonna be cold it's currently 17 degrees but my thought is is that although the rifle season has come and gone deer still have to rut and honestly with it being this cold is there I mean it could be rut right now we this could be hot no maybe there's a magnum laying there we don't know what you doing, stink doe? You stinking? We're just gonna be mobile and try not to freeze to death. I think that being able to read fresh sign is exciting. It's kind of like a late season hunt and a rut hunt all mixed in one, so I'm pretty excited about being back. What do you think, Nick? I'm fired up to be here. Well, we got snow camo, son, and my dad had a, one set of snow cam camo cover. I bought another, that way we'd have two. We got white hats so we can stay warm and concealed in the snow. I've never hunted in full-on snow camo though. I think it's gonna be hilarious. I don't, th I don't know. Yeah, I don't know too many people that have. I'm curious to see how it works. I feel like it's one of those deals where we just got unfinished business. We learned so much about this area, and I feel like we just want to, you know, try again with a little bit different weather. We just had such warm weather. Maybe incorporating a little bit of tracking, maybe a little bump and dump, a little decoying, all kinds of stuff. Calling, just a lot, a lot of different tactics we can try with the timing of the year and also with the snow allowing us to find fresh sign very easily. Well, that's pretty interesting though. That's what I was hoping to see. Roll up at 115, you get a buck cruising in that gum open field. There's deer out there in the fields. Man, they're they looking weird right there. They got their heads all tucked. Oh, they said, oh, they said, oh, oh, who is it? That's, I think they're just all male. Oh, who are you? Oh man, that's beautiful. Snowbirds. <laughs> I'm half tempted just seriously to cruise around tonight. It's like, there's so many deer moving right now. Yeah, I think we need to be mobile, mobile looking for these things. Man, I'd love to sit in the truck all day. <laughs> <laughs> hey dude. And Taco Bell's since worn off. Getting hungry. That's just the laziness in me thinking, well, you know, you haven't gotten up and done anything in a while, you can probably put something in your face yeah. hole. <laughs> you might as well. Hey, might as well eat. You might as well be snacking. Where you at, sad father? <laughs> you laid up in a sad spot somewhere. Sad daddy. Big old sad daddy book. I'm gonna have to set up all day, so <sighs> it's gonna be tough, but going to every day. Daylight and dark. Before daylight and dark. <laughs> it's kind of a, a warmer 16 degrees. Oh, yeah, easily. It's on the warm side of 16. If I realize something's coming, I'm definitely going to try to get that glove off. Yeah. Oh, that's too much glove for me. I'm sure I hope like, can be affected by extra weight that is ice. Dude, super mag! <laughs> That's how efficient we're gonna be stopping to get eyes on one tonight. We're gonna just try to cover as much ground as possible and try to get a gauge on what deer are doing. It's already 4.15, we got about an hour of legal, so I think we're just gonna drive around, try to cover ground, try to get eyes on one, see what happens. We did shoot the bow and everything back at the place, so it's kinda got unloaded and unpacked and shot. Now we're like ready to hunt. We got all the gear on, as you can tell. Completely dialed. <laughs> Completely. They were moving at one, so hopefully they're moving now. Man, you'd hope, you'd think, you'd hope. Colin says that's hard on your components. 
tough on some good components. <laughs> Is this where we saw the buck cross the road? Mm -hmm. huh, that's weird. That's strange. <laughs> that's odd. I mean, people go to school in this. We'd be out of school for two weeks. <laughs> A little rut activity. Yeah, he's. I think he fits the mold. That's a weird looking antler. See, that's pretty cute, doesn't he? He bought him. Yeah, it's this other little buck over here. All right. To the left of him. Out there with all of them. Oh, just a little basket rack. Right where we're packing up tents right there, the day before I went to set mine up. Drop my big duffel bag on the ground. Look right next to it. There's a big pile of huge. <laughs> <laughs> it was like three days old, but it was a turd. Like that long. I think I made forever and always. You refer to us Minnesota Minnesota. Yeah. Just love cutting out those images. Is that fucking stupid? Like Zach Hill, Jake Hill, Aaron Hill. So boring. I watched that turn for it yesterday, and I was rolling. That was so dumb. Right at the beginning. This is for the THP boys. Mitch, what do you got to say? I'm better than them. It's <laughs> <laughs> like so called me. He's like, I'm better than yeah, them. Yeah, like, it, 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 like the way you say it too, like gives you the, the impression that it's gonna go a completely different direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, not like, oh, we're so fortunate to be hanging out with these guys. Just like, I'm better than them. <laughs> <laughs> Enough right there. Here he goes. Huge buck. <laughs> what? Jeez. <laughs> Nick's just casually like. There's a buck in the road. I'm like, big buck in the road. <laughs> I could just tell it was a buck in the road. I couldn't tell nothing else about it. He's just kind of lumbering his way through there. There, 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 doe right there. We had intentions this morning of riding around looking for bucks. And basically right where we were getting to where we wanted to start really glassing, we see a buck walk right in front of us, and it's a big buck. Pretty excited about it. He's going right down into the bedding area that we were talking about hunting him in last night. He's gonna go in there and maybe try some aggressive tactics here. When I saw him, I was kinda like this. <laughs> I know you did. Like, hey, there's, there's a buck right there. Get the camera! <laughs> Panic! Nick, coffee down, camera up! <laughs> I knew he was gonna get a look at him up there off the road. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. After we saw the buck, we realized we weren't really ready to go yet. I had to take an emergency bathroom break. We had to get a quick gear check. So about 30 minutes later, we had everything ready to head into the woods after the buck. On our way to the spot that we planned on parking to go in after that buck, we called Minnesota Mitch to give him an update on what we had seen that morning. And as we turned down the road that we planned on parking on, things got pretty crazy yet again. Buck, it might be him. It might be him. Two, two bucks. And it's him. Yeah, it's him. Mitchell, right. it's him. It's okay, him. Hey, go get him. There he is, right there. Two biggest bucks. Where's he at? He was standing on the opposite road. Complete other side of the block. On the private? On the road. He ran right back into public when we drove up to him. And oh. You got to move on them then? Yeah, now the wind's in our favor. All right, well, we got to go. Yeah, update me if you can. It's not just, I'll talk to you later. All right, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Well, I'm glad hey, there all. There he is in the road, just in the road again. Was the other one a shooter? Oh, yeah. There, there, there's a deer running right there. That's a shooter right there. I think we maybe need to get in there. All right. Do you think we go back up the road up there? 
Mm -hmm. And just track in that way. The wind's more in your favor that way. Yeah. I just don't want to go across that opening. Yeah, I don't definitely don't want to walk across that. Why don't you watch while I kind of get ready yeah. here? It's anything like a turkey is with a decoy. They're going to be so fixated on that. They're not going to notice a guy back there like, dude, it's the big eight pointer with swooping time. You go back to the road and back yeah, over. Back to the road. I'd love to just be walking down here and just look up and be like, oh, Nick, get out right there behind me. And we just sit down in this grass and chill on with this decoy point blank. Let's hope. rattled a couple times we decided to back out because I don't really know where they went it's real cold so we just decided to not sit in there just stay mobile we're just gonna drive around and see if we can get eyes on a different buff and then go back in there to set up tonight but either way we've seen deer going in there a lot and then I feel like there's definitely a good chance that there's multiple big bucks bedded on the public Patch. There's like a big patch of aspen and then there's like a swamp kind of surrounding it. It's just a lot of habitat types coming together. Seems like a lot of deer are bedded back there, so we're going to go back there later. But until then, we're just going to cruise around and check out different pieces of public land and see if we can see sign or see deer or whatever. Probably too cold to be out there all day, so we're just going to not do that. Hopefully we don't get the truck stuck. There's a lot of, a lot of drift roads out here. Drift road? We looked up a little bit ago, smack into the middle of a drift road. What he's trying to say is the block is hot. <laughs> just gonna probably have to film from here. I just don't see how we're both gonna pull it off. If I need to hop on that lane, I can just scoot down that lane and maybe get to like 50 yards before they even see me with this decoy. And then when they do, I might just come right to it. What do you think? If we get an opportunity to kill one, it's not gonna be conventional. We're not gonna have deer just walk by us. I also really like being right there because then we can see that way and that way. We got room to like move on something. Why don't you just stay right here for now?
think he has any idea what happened. I might have killed him had my release not been frozen. Couldn't get my release on when he was right here. I got ready and he was running and I was about ready to draw and I couldn't get my release on. My release was just straight up frozen. In my brain, I was like, if you could get up far enough right here, you'd be able to make that shot. Oh, and I did. Did you see how far up I ended up? Right there. See, if your release wouldn't have been frozen, you'd be shot. Yeah. Up. Nah. Remember when you said we're not gonna have one run right past us? Yeah. Remember that? Remember how I'm an idiot? Nah, you're not. I mean, I'm an idiot. I went over there. Big buck. We came in here to set up to where we could see over here. But then I got greedy and I wanted to see back that way. We just had enough wind that honestly I thought that if we saw a buck up there, I'd just be able to creep in with this decoy. We kind of got caught off guard because we saw him and I started to make that move and it was working great. He was not looking. I was just easily moving right up to Nick, but then he started running. And he ran right to 20 yards from me, about 10 from Nick. And then my release was frozen, which I should have been paying more attention to that because it happened when I went to practice draw earlier and I should have had it in the heat. And then he ran between Nick and I and I just couldn't do anything then. I was drawn then, I mean, I kept it to the left, but he was between me and you. Just gotta be happy about it and try not to get bummed about it. I mean, that close, man. But see, it's already frozen again. It's not opening. Good job, man. I'm, I'm sorry that I made that decision. I wish I wouldn't have now, because we'd probably be partying. I'm trying not to get too down about that. You guys see anything? Yeah. Should have got him. What? No. Yeah. Pretty bad. I look up and I just immediately just see this big bodied deer of like maybe 80. Yeah. Somewhere in there. I'm, I'm cool with that because I kind of expected that. Where I was, I thought, well, I'll just walk right up this edge. It's blowing and there's snow falling and like, you know how all those aspen patches are kind of feathered out to where it's like, and then there's just those like whippets at the very end. Yeah, yeah. But I'm making mo fast moves, just keep my eyes on him. I can tell he's not reacting to me doing anything. I just don't think he can see me at all. And I have like a couple big windows just to Nick's left. So I just kind of slide right into position, get down, and he's now still running right, like has no idea. And when I made that last move, I got past those like whippets there at the end. Like I just pushed all the way out. Gotta put my release on, froze. <laughs> And I would have been drawn as soon as he starts no. to like, yeah, yeah. And I'm frozen release and I just mess with it, mess with it, mess with it. Finally, like, as it's too late, he's passed. But you would have got a shot of him for your release, probably. I, I think so, because I remember being like, if you get drawn, you got him. Oh, I mean, there's there's yeah. 10 things that we could have done differently. Nick, need a beer? Absolutely. <laughs> I knew he would have drawn. would have had a ton of this for solid. And that whole time, he just like comes right to the point. <laughs> We can blame the release all day, but like, there's a lot of things that we could have done differently. Yeah. There he is. How have you not started drinking again? <laughs> Stay strong, Tim. I can't watch anymore. It's our second day, morning, I guess, back over here in Minnesota, and it's one degree. We're just trying to stay positive after a tough loss last night. We got a big buck over here. I got eyes on him once and I kind of lost him in the tall stuff. I'm gonna try to pin where he's at and then just kind of make a loop around it and see if we can get eyes on him. We lost him for a good bit and then got eyes on a small buck and then we saw the big buck popping out to run him off. Saw him going back into the cattail so we're just gonna keep easing up there and listen. Just trying to make it seem like we're another buck coming in on him. You know when you got that PMA that good things happen. <laughs> Woo! Yes, sir! What'd you think about that? Woo, 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 woo! <laughs>